Here we shall now try to understand motion. An aeroplane flying in the sky. A car is running on a straight road. The sprinters running on a track race. Earth revolving round the sun are all examples of motion. A motion may be a straight line or a curvilinear motion. We can also say one, two or three dimensional motion. What is important is all are moving with respect to ground. This set of geometrical axis is called frame of reference. With fixed point, O is point of reference. The position, velocity, acceleration etc. of a body can be determined within this frame of reference. Hence a body which is moving with respect to a frame of reference with respect to time is called motion. Let a body at A is moving with respect to a point of reference O comes to a point B the body can reach from A to B in many ways. But there is one and only one route from A to B so AB is shortest. With no change in the direction. So is called displacement. Whereas all other distances from A to B called as distance. Have magnitude but no direction. Whereas displacement has both magnitude and direction. A physical quantity that have magnitude but no direction is called a scalar quantity. It is represented as absolute AB for example. Distance, speed, time etc. Its SI unit is meter. And, a physical quantity that have both magnitude and direction both is called a vector quantity dot can be represented as vector AB for example. Displacement, velocity, acceleration etc. Its SI unit is also meter. A body which is not moving but consuming time with respect to a fixed point is called position of rest. Sitting on a car in motion on a straight road. We watch another car moving on a straight road, in the same direction, looking moving slower. But when both moving opposite in direction looking moving faster. This is due to relative motion. Let us consider a bus start from A travels a distance of s kilometer to b on a straight road bus travels each kilometer in equal interval time t what we see is equal distances are traveled in equal interval of times this is uniform motion if equal distances are not traveled in equal interval of times motion is then called a non-uniform motion motion can be measured as rate of change in distance per unit time termed as speed. Speed has magnitude but no direction. Mathematically written as, speed equals distance traveled upon time taken. SI unit of speed is meter and is a scalar quantity. Whereas speed with direction is called velocity. SI unit is meter and is a vector quantity. Velocity equals displacement upon time taken. When we are driving a car faster, sometimes we might have to be slower. A constant speed is not possible. So we can drive with an average speed. For example, a car travels a distance of x1 in time t1, another distance x2 in time t2. Then average speed is equal to x1 plus x2 whole upon t1 plus t2. Hence average speed equals total distances traveled upon total time taken. Speed with direction or the rate of change in motion of an object can be termed as velocity. The velocity of an object can be uniform or non-uniform. Here velocity have magnitude and direction. Velocity can be changed either by changing magnitude or direction. Hence in case of change in velocity. Average velocity equal to sum of initial and final velocity upon 2. Mathematically, average velocity equal to u plus v, 2. Let a body is moving with uniform motion from a to b along a straight line, the velocity remains constant. Hence change in velocity during this interval is zero. However, in non-uniform motion, the change in velocity of the object during any time interval is not zero. Hence, rate of change in velocity with respect to time is called acceleration.
expressed as a equals rate of change in velocity, time taken or a equals v minus u whole upon t. Si unit is square, is a vector quantity. We can note, rate of increment in velocity is acceleration, and decrement is retardation or deceleration.